Governor Jan Brewer, I got word right before I came on air, uh, the crazy governor of Arizona, who, I mean, I know I say this a lot, but, and I'm kind of like the bull, boy who cried wolf on this, but she, I mean, really is one of the dumbest elected officials in the country. You, got, you know who I'm talking about, Jan Brewer? She's the, uh, the one who waved her finger in President Obama's face in a very derogatory way. There's the picture of that that was all over the internet. She's the pers person, or one of the people, I guess you could say, who uh, was in favor and, I guess, proposed the legislation, the controversial legislation in Arizona uh, that basically uh, criminalizes being brown-skinned. I mean, that's a little bit of comedic exaggeration, but not really. Any suspicion whatsoever the uh, police have in Arizona, they get to ask you for, like, ID and green card and stuff like that, and they don't need to have any particular reason, really. They could just say, oh, you know, hey, you look like you're Hispanic. Let me see your papers. Uh, quite literally the opposite of having uh, civil liberties which is one of the things that this country was founded on, the idea that we have civil liberties. So, uh, way to go there, Jan Brewer, ripping up the Constitution. And she also gave us that incredibly awkward pause during that debate. And we actually have the unedited uh, footage of that. So, let's, let's, let's listen to that real quick. Finally, we hear from Jan Brewer. Thank you, Ted, and it's great to be here with Larry, Barry, and Terry, and thank you all for watching us tonight. I have uh, done so much, and I just cannot believe that we have changed everything since I've become your governor in the last 600 days. Arizona has been brought back from its abyss. We have cut the budget, we have balanced the budget, and we are moving forward. Uh -huh. We have done everything that we could possibly do. <laughs> we have uh, did what was right for Arizona. I will tell you that I have really did the very best that anyone could do. We have pushed back hard against the federal government. We have filed suit against Obama Health Care. We have passed Senate Bill 1070, and we will continue to do what's right for Arizona. I ask for your vote. Thank you. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. She, she wasn't really ripping ass the entire time. But uh, everything other than that, I'm not kidding, like the actual footage of her, like, you know, just having, like, the most massive brain fart in human history on camera. Uh, that was real. None of that was edited. And yeah, so she's actually considering running for president. She will get destroyed! Oh my god, that would be such a tremendous bloodbath of a race, man. I don't care who she's running against, she would get destroyed. And I, the funny thing is, she's actually like, you know... A, as far as the Republican base goes, you know, the base, the nutcases that make up the uh, people that show up for the Republican primaries, they love her. They love her. There was a clip I heard today talking about climate change, saying how she doesn't believe in it. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, the climate has stuff, something to do with other, yeah, other things and weather's patterns, and I don't believe in what. And then after uh, she answered the question, to the reporter asked her, she said afterwards, when she thought the camera was off, like, what are you doing asking me tough questions? Like, don't you know your job is to, is to fillet me? And to, to bow down and worship me because you want access and, and special interviews? The sense of entitlement that these guys have is just unreal. But uh, Governor Jan Brewer can say, oh, you know who she was talking to when she was considering, uh, when she talked about considering uh, a presidential run? She went to go talk to Sheldon Adelson. That's the billionaire casino guy who funded all the crazy right-wing kooks in the last GOP primary.